just when I thought I'd seen everything, I received this for Christmas, a powered by water, water clock. It says goodbye batteries, hello H2O. Uh, now I've never seen one of these things before, but obviously it's gonna work off of a, a chemical reaction between whatever is inside the unit and water to make a battery. Let's just uh, read what the destructions say here. What does it say here? It says, technology of the future is here. Powered by water, the Battle water clock is the most accurate, environmentally practical, has hassle-free timepiece of its kind. Want a high-quality, beautifully designed alarm clock that literally runs itself? Look no further. And it works on 100% natural water, no batteries, no chemicals, no electricity, no pollution. Just fill it with water and you're set for 8 to 12 months of accurate timekeeping before refilling. Let's uh, open this thing up and, and see what it does. So it's got a... It'll operate daily or hourly alarm, 12 or 24 hour, no electric cords, eco-friendly, and so forth. So I've never seen this, so let's just take a look and see what's inside the box. Of course, the instruction book and the clock itself. And there it is. And as you can see, the display is completely empty. Mode set. Okay, there should be some buttons on it, I guess. Um, I guess that's it there, yeah. Mode button over here and the set button over there. And just this little spout on the back to fill it up with water. Now, let's take a look inside here. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to open this thing up because it's going to be sealed, and if I take it apart, it will leak. But uh, it looks like we just pour water down in the back, and inside here, there's got to be some, some plates. This would be the perfect place to... Uh, put my borescope and uh, we can take a look around inside so maybe I will go and uh, dig up my borescope and uh, we'll we'll put the camera in there and just see what's inside this thing so let's just take a look inside the uh, the clock in the battery the reservoir so inside here there's these there's these plates in here and They're spaced together to form a battery, to form a wet cell battery is what it looks like. I don't know whether this video off this little borescope will show any more than what I can see with the eye looking in the top. But it basically just looks like two metal plates. We can probably see them down the top here just as easily. There's a baffle right down the middle. So I'm sure that's what holds the, there's basically two tanks of, of water and it, it holds the water separate. And you can see that there, there are plates inside here. It looks like they're forming two separate cells. There's one set of plates on the top side here and another set of plates over here. So I'm sure it's, it's forming two independent batteries just to provide more voltage. Possibly a better view of what's going on inside is if I just illuminate it with a flashlight and we look through the semi-translucent case. But it looks like the, the two cells have a different spacing. If you look at the plate at the back, it seems to be bowing back, whether that's just the way it was built or whether it's designed like that. But I would imagine that it's two different types of metal that's in here. And it forms up uh, a battery. Uh, there's no acid or anything added. But it, it, it turns the plates into a Oh, basically yeah, a basic wet cell. Now normally you'd require an electrolyte such as an acidic, like lemon juice or something that's acidic or acid. But according to the instructions, this uses the ions in ordinary tap water to generate electricity. I love the instructions here. Uh, makes absolutely no sense when I first open this thing up, but then I realized that everything's in steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've, it, it's totally out of order. Um, but anyway, it says to, um, to activate the clock, just pour water into the clock. Open the fill cap and fill with ordinary tap water. 
If ordinary tap water in your area is particularly acidic or dirty, recommend using bottled water. If the tap water is not allowing your clock to run for an extended period of time, two to three months, they say, changing to bottled water. Unfiltered tap water is preferred. Um, okay, we suggest, let's see here, uh, we suggest changing to using bottled water. Unfiltered tap water is preferred over filtered or bottled water for most efficient performance. A plastic barrier separates the tank into two parts. Fill the tank with 8 to 10 ounces, making sure that each side is equally filled. Do not overfill or it may leak. Do not drink the water from the clock. Do not shake or invert the clock when filled with water. Okay, let's um, fill this thing up with some water. And that's it. The clock is running off of water. We'll put the spout into the back to prevent leaks. There it is. It's running. All right, I guess to set the clock, I have to use the mode button and the set button. I was looking at the destructions manual. It looks like I'm going to press the set button over here. And this cycles it through the different modes. So it's 202 now, so 202, and there we go. Now it's set for 202. If I press the mode button over here, what will it do by itself? It will cycle probably alarm on, and then this is probably the date. Yeah, that's the date. Alarm date. If I press and hold to set the date, there's the date. So. 12, 25, there we go, okay, 2 p.m., 2.02, there we go, so if I press the button on the left once, it will show me the alarm time it's set, and it'll show me the date, and then it should go back to the time, if I press it three times, what does it do, it shows me the seconds, so you can have it just counting seconds if you prefer just to see the seconds. Simple as that. And then press it again to uh, go back to the time. And if, it can also display 24 hour time. It um, It says press the set button six times and press mode once to get past the 12 hour time setting. Indicated by an A and a P. Okay, so basically when you're in the hour setting mode, it'll start out with the A for the AM time and then it'll go to the PM time and then from there it'll go to 24 hour time by just going into the hour set. So if I wanted this to display 24 hour time, I would press this button six times. So it says, oops, there, 2P. And then I could just wind this past and then it would the PM would go out. Right now we're in in the 24 hour mode, so I could take it to 14 or 15 hours, etc. Just keep going all the way around until I get back to AM or PM. Now we're back onto AM. So that's how you set 12 and 24 hour time. That's the alarm setting. So that's uh, basically how you set this up. I hope that I hope you saw that. I was using a different camera down low to get a shot of the display. But anyway, I just wanted to show this little gadget off. I've never seen anything quite like this, and it certainly is a conversation piece. It has a, on the back, it's got a marking for a minimum and maximum level. So when the water evaporates, I actually get a little bit too much in there. It said eight to ten ounces of water, and I filled this thing up to eight ounces. But even at that, it brought it a little too high. But uh, you know, six to six months to a year, I guess, when they say that the display will fade, we'll dump the water out and refill it. Anyway, I thought that was kind of a novelty little unit 
itself and it actually works. If I want to change it from an, uh, an alarm clock to an hourly chime I just press the set button and then I can select between an alarm on or an hourly chime or just an hourly chime. So alarm mode, hour, uh, that's alarm on, that's alarm plus an hourly chime and that's just an hourly chime and then confirm by pressing that button. And now it will chime every hour as opposed to every 24 hours. So you can set it as an alarm clock. Again, to do that, you just tap there, tap the set key once, and then you can you can change your, your time. Whoops. Alarm. So that's when you would set your alarm. So say you want the alarm to go off at 7 o'clock in the morning, 7 a.m. There we go. Okay, tap it. Now it's 2.07. So if I, if I tap there, turn on the alarm, turn on the alarm and the chime and then confirm now it'll go off at 7 in the morning as well as beep every hour if I don't want the alarm to go off at 7 in the morning I just want it to beep every hour I would just go to the alarm mode select hourly charm only and then double click to get back to time anyway basic little LCD clock but it's a very unique very unique power source powered by water very interesting and cool all right thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one bye